Hey YouTube, it's Kristen. You're watching Chatterbox Budgets. Thank you so much for joining me for a video today. I hope you're all doing well. It is Friday, December 31st, 2021. It's about 10.30 a.m. here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And we are going to be doing my envelope stuffing for January 2022. So the funds to cover my expenses for January are already in my accounts. I used the paychecks that I earned in December, the last two, because there were three, um, to cover my expenses for January. And the funds are all where they need to be. So I have a money management plan, money management program, whatever you want to call it, and a spending plan. So I, the, the total is $2,800. And I do not do a zero-based budget, so there is a little bit more than that, but that's how much we're going to plan for. So my scheduled expenses, which are basically my bills... That's $2,100, and that has been transferred to my secondary checking account through my credit union. And then I will just transfer the funds over to my main checking account as they're coming up on the auto pay. And all of them are on auto pay except for my rent, which I do pay electronically. And then my unscheduled expenses, which are my daily expenses, basically food, gas, things like that. That Those funds, $600, has been transferred to my Venmo app, which is my cash app that I use. And I use a Venmo debit card. I also have a Venmo credit card. So... Those funds are available, so I use a credit card to get the cash back, and then I transfer the funds from the Venmo debit card account as the charge is clear. So that $600 is sitting there ready to go. And then for my regular expenses, which are my Freedom Fund accounts, I have the five main categories are the money is sitting in my Capital One 360 checking account, and then the $50 for my savings fund are in my uh, Capital One 360 savings account. So all the money is where it needs to be to be able to cover the things that it's, it's set up to cover. So, okay, so let's get stuffing. And I am a digital cash or a digital envelope user, but I do use prop money to help me symbolize those funds so that I can visualize everything that I'm spending. It just seems to work really well for my brain and has been something that I really have enjoyed. It helps me with my spending when I can go and play with the money and count it and stuff. I feel like that helps with my compulsive spending. Um, well, my compulsion to spend. Okay, so auto insurance is up first and we're going to use the biggest denominations we can and then we, as we go through the month, when I need change to make smaller bills or whatever, to, get, to make change to get smaller bills, I will just do it as I go. So, okay, so $56 for auto insurance. So there's 50. And you know what, before I start, let me get my sort quick out. This video is not sponsored. Everything you see here, I purchased myself. Most of it with the gift cards <laughs> through Amazon that I get from my, well, from everybody. Okay, so 50, 55, 56. So auto insurance. And I do budget higher than the actual amount, sometimes a dollar more, um, because I want to be able to, to put half of it aside each paycheck like, so the paychecks in January, I want to put half aside for each of these to cover February's. But also because then I can take whatever's left over and put it into my savings account. So it's kind of a built-in savings plan. Not a lot of money, but it's enough for me. Okay, so $60 for my cell phone bill. I'm sorry, $68. And we are going to use $2 bills today. Okay, so there's 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. So my cell phone bill is $68, but they only ever charge me $63. So that $5 would just go into savings if I don't end up needing it. I budget the amount they they put on the invoice or a statement or whatever. That way, if they end up actually charging me $68, i have got the money available. Okay, so internet's next. And I did increase my budget for internet. I was budgeting $96, and I did move it up to $100 because I had a notice saying that my internet was going to be more expensive. However, it's they still billed me for the same amount that I've been, they've been billing me. So I'm not exactly sure why, but we're going to put $100 in here. And then again, anything left over, we'll just go to savings at the end of the month. Okay. Or for other categories, if I need more money, that's the other thing. So electricity gets 52 and that's the actual exact electricity cost. I'm on an equal pay plan. I've been on it for years. And so that's my current equal pay amount every month. I've been on auto pay and equal pay. Well, I've been on equal pay. Actually, no, I have. I've been on both of them exactly the same amount of time. And it's been the best thing ever. I like it because my natural gas is higher cost in the winter because my heater, my water heater and all my heat is done with my natural gas. And then my electricity is less. And so they, they switch places. And so it ends up balancing out throughout the year. Okay, so natural gas gets 32. 
We are using the $2 bills that come with my pop money because why not? 20, 30, 32. I don't get to use them in real life, so I might as well use them when I'm playing with money. With prop money. Okay, so 32 for that one. And then utilities. This is for my water, sewer, trash that's through my apartment complex. I tried to put water, sewer, trash, but it didn't fit. <laughs> and I did increase this up to $80. So there's 50, 60, 70, 80. I was doing $60, but it will be more money starting in the spring. And so I figure I'll start budgeting that now. And again, anything I don't use, it'll just go into savings. I have a savings account that's attached to my secondary checking account, so... Okay, annual fees. Now this is where there were some changes this month. What I did is I paid Amazon Prime and Walmart Plus for an annual fee instead of doing it monthly. So I did spend more in December than I had originally budgeted, but that also means that I could take away a category. So I took away, not a category, a subcategory. So my annual fees increased and then my subscriptions are different because I added, I took, there were only like three things on my membership subcategory. So I took that away and then put one of them with the subscriptions and the other two with the annual fees. So, okay. Annual fees gets $70, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. The next thing that's coming up for this is my TurboTax fee that I pay when I file my taxes in January or beginning of February, whenever I end up doing it. And that won't be enough to pay for it, but I'll probably just use my slush fund or something to cover the rest. I'm not too concerned about it. Okay. I would have had the funds available, but I because I used the money to cover the annual fees for Walmart Plus and Amazon Prime, I didn't have anything left in savings. So, okay, subscriptions is getting 160, so 150, 60. Okay, and that's for. Hulu, and I didn't change Hulu to an annual subscription. I thought I looked at it, but because I have the Hulu with no commercials, um, that's not available as an annual subscription right now. So I would rather pay monthly and not have commercials than pay annually, save a little bit of money and have to deal with commercials. Yeah, so that's just my pre per personal preference. Okay, so subscriptions is done. Gym, which is gym and fitness, that one gets $18. And that one's a little bit higher than it needs to be because I wanted, again, to be able to, to divide it by two. But anything left over just goes in savings. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's for my gym membership, which I need to start going again as of tomorrow or maybe Monday. I like to start on the first of the month, but I don't go to the gym on weekends usually. So <laughs> we'll see how I decide to do that. So the... Home insurance, which is renter's insurance, gets $8. So there's five, six, seven, eight. Rent gets $1,226. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. So 1226. So this covers my actual rent as well as my car covered parking charge and my washer dryer rental. I choose to rent my washer and dryer that way if anything happens to it, I can just call them and have them come fix it or replace it or whatever. And then it also covers the 95 cent charge that I pay for paying my rent electronically online to the portal that they have. Loan payment is $230. Now it's not actually 230, it's really only 160. However, my previous loan was 260, oh, I'm sorry, 230, that's right, $230. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm going to put this money, pay the 160 as it comes out, which will come out probably tonight. And then when I, excuse me, Excuse me, take the remaining balance and then every quarter pay an extra payment. Okay, so 260 in there. Okay, so that's my bill binder. Hopefully that was centered the whole time and if not, I apologize. I forget I can look. Okay, <laughs> the next one we're going to do is my unscheduled expenses. So my gas and my fuel and stuff. And the reason I call this unscheduled expenses is because I, I know I have to buy food. I know I have to pay for gas. 
However, I don't know when I might do it. And so where my bills are a, sk sk a set day and a set dollar amount, this stuff is not. So that's why I call it that. I don't consider it variable expenses, mainly because I hate the word variable, but also because to me, variable means you have a choice and I really don't have a choice in buying food and toilet paper. So, <laughs> okay, so we're going to give gas and fuel $60 and that mostly goes towards the tip I pay for Walmart grocery delivery because they use their gas to get to me. So that's what I'm tipping them for, in my opinion. $60 and then groceries and food gets 240. I actually did change that. It used to be 300. This is $60 a week, 240, because I found I was spending the $75 a week that I was budgeting before um, or planning on before just to spend it where I really don't necessarily need two different kinds of cookies or <laughs> whatever. So $260 there. No, 200, I'm sorry, $240. I apologize. It was $240. Household gets $60. I still have a lot of um, stockpiled goods for household, personal, and pets. So I don't know that I'll need all of this, but if I don't need it, it can go into my freedom fund accounts for something else. So miscellaneous gets $20. And that usually just covers me for when I go over in personal or household or whatever. Dollars there, excuse me. Ooh. First, I'll get sixty dollars, and that'll go towards. Well, it's probably going to go into my personal care um, fund, so I can pay for my next hair appointment. But okay, pet stuff gets a hundred and sixty, right? Yes. So that one's also different than it used to be, and that's because I have a stockpile of goods for them, but also I haven't had to spend that much. And I, by taking down this one in my groceries back down as much as I did, I get, I opened up a hundred dollars available for my freedom funds that I didn't have before. Okay. So that's my everyday expenses. My used to be my cash wallet, but I don't use cash anymore. So now it's just my scheduled expenses. Okay. Next one is my uh, freedom fund binders, so it's, just, it's similar to a saving or sinking funds, but we don't use that word if we can help it. Okay, auto care. And the reason these are called irregular expenses is because they're going to happen. I just don't know when, and they happen maybe once a quarter, once a month, depending on what it's for. So auto care, this is for car maintenance and for like oil chain. Well, I guess that's car maintenance. Car maintenance, basically. So $10 goes in there for auto care. Anything left over in the gas category will go in here if there is anything. Gifts, which is for Christmas, birthdays, and holidays like Father's Day and Mother's Day. That one's also getting $10. I do not budget more for the Christmas because I usually get overtime during the Christmas season. So if I need more money, I can take it out of my paychecks. And I think next year we're going to do a, an angel tree instead of doing family gifts. And so that'll be really nice. Personal care, which this is mainly my hair care. <laughs> I'm sorry, personal. Yeah, this is the personal care fund. The, basically my hair appointments. This one is getting $10 also. I just stocked up on shampoo and stuff. So I don't need to buy that for six months, if not longer. And then, um, but I do have a hair appointment in six weeks. So, okay. Pet care is getting... $10. This is for their vet bills. I will have to just uh, cash flow my one one of the appointments that we have probably next week to get annual um, shots and stuff. Then shopping is getting $10. This one I probably could put more in here because I do have the money on an Amazon gift card. I have like quite a bit, but I'm just going to leave that as uncategorized. And then as I use it, then I'll, I'll change it over to what the category actually ended up being. I'm trying not to spend it just because I can. Okay, so those each get had 10, so that's $50 total, and then savings gets 50. And again, that's already in my Capital One 360 savings account. So all of that's where it's supposed to be. I haven't set up subcategories or anything in my accounts because I don't know that I really want to, but okay, so there's that. So $2,800 has been allocated for my spending for my expenses for January. And then my paychecks that I earn in January, there's gonna be two, and I think they'll be probably about $1,400 each, maybe $1,350 each. Those will go to cover my expenses for February. Um, I will also, I should have a tax refund um, because I do pay. I basically, I, I 
I have the same amount of withholdings as I do on my income as I do on my, when I file my taxes. So I should get a refund. Not a huge one necessarily, but at least a little one. And then, yeah, so, okay. So there's that. And then I do have, like I said, I do have a slush fund. I don't have everything. Um, I don't have every dollar assigned to something because that doesn't work for me. And I do have my contingency fund fully funded at $1,000. It's sitting in my safe. Um, that is what I do would I do use when I need cash. So for example, yesterday with my hair appointment, I needed another $100 in cash. So instead of going to the ATM machine on the way there, I just took it out of my safe, stopped at the ATM machine on my way back, and then put that money back in the safe. Because I do have ones, tens, fives, and twenties in there, plus some fifties. So all right, you guys. Well, I hope that wasn't too to anything. <laughs> just just there. I um I like using pop money. I really do prefer to have everything done digitally. I love having cash, don't get me wrong, and I, I wish I could use my cash as like prop money, like to take the money out of my safe and just keep moving it back and forth to envelope from envelope to envelope. But it's not as secure. So I have to lock up my one of my binders when I do that, or two of my binders. And that's just kind of stressful or frustrating or whatever. So this way it's all locked up, the cash is all locked up and it's there if I need it. But I also have the prop money. So yeah, if anyone broke in, they would get all my prop money, but they would not be able to get the rest of it. So, all right, you guys. Well, I hope you have a good and safe New Year's. If you see this after New Year's, I hope you have a great 2022 or whatever year you watch this in. I laugh because when I watch videos and people are talking about us as if we're, I'm like, like they filmed it three years ago and I'm watching it now and they're like, how was your guys' weekend? And I'm like, what weekend? <laughs> so I tried to record my videos so that they would make sense or fit anytime. I probably put way too much thought into that part of it and not enough thought into other things. But okay, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support and for letting me talk your ears off because I I joke that I have a word quota I have to meet every day and I don't get to make it when I don't work because I don't talk to really anybody usually. That's not true. I call my dad and talk to him all the time. But um, I'm hoping today to be able to get some stuff done around my house. Excuse me. Yeah. Anyway, okay, you guys take care of yourselves. Have a fabulous day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.